I'm an undergraduate mathematician studying at the University of Leicester. Um, I've always been interested in the way that mathematicians think. Uh, I think that maths is about perspective, um, so looking, we have given a problem, uh, looking at it from a different approach, um, I think that sometimes that can help you to consider something you might not have considered before, and sometimes that can open up a whole new set of questions, but I think that maths is about the ideas and not just the calculations. So I decided to do this project because I wanted to explore how mathematicians see things and look into how they think. Uh, often in my lectures, my lectures are explaining a new idea or giving the proof and I've been thinking, wow, that's actually really creative how they come up with that. And so I wanted to show everyone that actually maths isn't just about uh, mindlessly computing something, it's about looking at the problem and using your imagination to come up with a way of solving this really complicated looking thing and breaking it up into uh, something that's actually really quite simple. Um, I think actually mathematicians are fundamentally very lazy um, they want to make complicated things simple and I find it really interesting the ways that they come up with to do that. I see pure mathematics as being with the trying to distill ideas and patterns down to their very most essential form. That's pure mathematics for me. And of course we've got applied mathematics which is um, um, sort of more uh, solving problems which come from the outside. Pure mathematics often solves problems which come from the inside, so to speak. Not not completely, but, but often. Um, but applied mathematicians, you're sort of looking for problems from the outside. So there's a, there's a bit of an engineer in me which wants to just get people's problems and try to solve them. So getting involved with, uh, you know, people involved in medicine, people involved in geology, people involved in finance. So I've worked with all these sorts of people. And the interesting thing is to help people solve problems and that mathematics is so universally useful for helping people solve problems is one of the things that I don't think we've managed to get across to pe people in general. Basically it's underst understanding the world and uh, we are building tools in pure mathematics. That's the only thing we are doing. We are building tools and if someone eventually gets to grasp these tools and applied for their own problems, we will get to get better knowledge of our surroundings. The problem is, it's very difficult for a person to understand our mind. Yeah, most of research papers just say, okay, assume that here is your preferences, give me your preferences, give me your utility function, give me what you like, and I will tell you, I will solve optimization problems for you and tell you what to buy and how to trade to achieve what you like. It's so easy, but it's not useful because nobody knows what they like. <laughs> so I uh, did some research in this direction. When I became six or seventh grade, I started to participate in mass Olympiads. And that was all my life at that point, and I had a good success. I eventually had the gold and silver medal in International Mathematical Olympiad. I'm searching. I mean, I'm looking at things and then I'm starting to think, oh, maybe I can contribute something to that particular problem. So, so the thing we are currently working at as, as a group comes out of a longer discussion um, where we saw that um, the typical methods you're using from the surface theory um, needs some kind of, or may, may be helpful to have new approaches in, in these areas, which come maybe from a different topic. I think it's necessary it's because lots of the progress society makes is quite often coming from, from people thinking about something in a wider context, just sort of thinking computers would not have been possible if not some people had done some research which was completely not thinking about how to encode things, how how to, to, to program an ATM or something. So, so the underlying mathematics have been developed completely independently, but of course, eventually it happened very useful. But I think you have to have both sides of the coin. So some people doing this, some people doing that. And I'm more of a pure mathematics.